Hi, this is JP Chouari for Acrofoot TV. We're here at East West Ball in London, Ontario. And with me, I have Michael Arrington, wide receiver for the Concordia Singers. Michael, how do you think it went today? It went extremely well. You know, uh, Shell, uh, one on ones, and from what I heard, uh, the East DBs, they locked it down as well. It was, it was, it was a great day for football. Tell me a bit more about your preparation coming into the East-West, the combine yesterday and the, the week of practice. My preparation was short because um, our, our training camp kind of ran kind of late, probably towards mid-April, so somewhat I, I think. Yeah, about April. Yeah. So I, I trained as much as I could, you know, I, I was out there working my T-test, my 40, I was in the gym working my, my, my bench press and from my testing I think a lot of it did pay off. I, I was top 10 in the 40, I had a good T-test and my bench, uh, it improved by two reps since last month. There you go, good preparation. Yeah. It shows as well on the field, uh, you know, you're smooth running, the, running your routes, catching the football. Uh, to what can you attribute that? Uh, I can, I, I, I could attribute that to um, coaching. Uh, I, have, I have a great coach over at Concordia, Dave Spence. He, he works with us we, uh, during the offseason. We're out there every Monday in the Dome working on our routes, just perfecting our craft. So yeah, that, that could go towards coaching. There you go. Good coaching, good preparation. So this was Michael Arrington from the Concordia Singers. Michael, have a great week. You too. Hi, this is JP Schwari for Acrofoot TV. I'm here with Concordia defensive back Chris Robertson. Chris, how's the East-West Bowl so far? It's very fun. I like it it's a lot. Good competition, good people, great coaches, and it's a great learning experience. Great learning experience it is. What have you learned so far? Uh, I've learned different terminology mostly and how coaches view different things and how they play things in certain systems. and It's, it's different and I like it. It opens my mind, it broadens the horizon on how to play certain things. Very interesting and coaches have said it uh, earlier, you know, it's great that to be a sponge and learn different things during this camp and it's a good thing you, you take advantage of that. Um, you know, we talk about obviously you being a defensive back, your returner also. Uh, talk a bit more about your return game and uh, how you, you played so far here at East West. Uh, so far we haven't really done anything, we've just done systems, schemes and like that and uh, the way it's set up it's for like to kick to uh, his returns and stuff like that. Uh, it's it's going to be fun. You learn you learn something on the return game, or it's mostly just. Uh, it's mostly we just learn. It's nothing really to learn. It's just catch the ball and run kind of thing. It's an instinct. It's instinct. Yeah. So where does the, those instincts come from? I have no idea. It's just innate. It comes from within. Within. It's just yeah. right here. The instinct. Great. Well, you know what, Chris. I uh, want to wish you a, a best of success in Saturday's game and next year at Concordia. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, this is JP Schwari for Acrofoot TV. I'm here with uh, Concordia defensive back Nathan Taylor. Nathan, how's the week so far? Uh, it's been really good. It's a great experience. A lot of CFL coaches, great say as coaches, so I'm picking up a lot of new information, it's like a lot of different systems and techniques, so it's really cool to be around here. So uh, you say you picked up a lot of things. What have you learned so far? Uh, just there's so many coaches that have different terminology or use different like words and whatnot to like, describe their, their schemes. and their, Everyone's schemes is different. Some people are inside shade, outside shade, and they always figure a way to make it work. Like He plays just as well inside shade or outside as long as he's the right scheme around it. So you learn that kind of thing. You don't be so focused on playing one type of football. You're here with your, uh, with your buddy Chris Robertson who's playing the same position as you. Uh, would you say it helps to have someone playing the same position uh, on the same squad? Oh, of course, of course, because we're like we're in our we have rooms next to each other, so we could talk it up, figure out schemes, figure out how we're gonna play certain routes together, just like just like see what the the offense is running at us. So we all both have like take our mental pictures during like through practice, and we put those mental pictures together and we get to see what the whole scheme is uh, is about pretty much. It's probably gonna help you both coming into next season representing the Stingers in the Quebec Conference. Uh, one last thing about the event here. Uh, are you satisfied with your performance so far? So far, yeah. Um, I've just switched to safety recently. I did one spring camp at safety, and now I'm playing safety here. So I'm kind of learning, learning a lot on the fly, which is really good. I'm making more and more plays every day. I'm reading routes better. So being at this environment with such good players and such great talent and great schemes, for me to be thrown into the mix at safety, it's like it's going to be that much easier once I'm in like, a scheme that I'm more comfortable with, like at Concordia. Yeah. And, you know, learning defensive back is all about Knowing the the whole scheme, exactly. know, knowing how to play safety, cornerback, you know, halfback, you can do it all. After that, that's exactly. really good. Uh, one last thing, uh, who's the player that impressed you most here uh, during the first few days at East West Bowl? 
Uh, I've been really impressed with uh, Chris has been doing really well. Billy McPhee, he's a younger kid. He's got a great arm. He's got a cannon of an arm. He makes really good reads. Tris has been playing well. Rio's always wide open. Mike's been doing well. Like pretty much our team has been really good. So our specials have been really, really good. Our receivers, our DBs are really great players. So you're confident looking into Saturday's game? Oh, 100%. Like uh, the, the, the receivers we have and the quarterbacks we have, I think we're going to tear them up personally. There you go. Well, Nate, we're going to wish you the best of success for Thank Saturday's you. game.